Hey, Bulls and Bears, how is everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing well. We're getting more rain here in California. There's lots of floods happening. Not in my neck of the woods, thank goodness, but there's mudslides, uh, people getting their homes flooded, people needing to evacuate. So uh, we haven't had this much rain in a long time. In my 20 years, I don't remember it being over almost a week straight of rain. Uh, but it's funny, back on Christmas Day, a couple weeks ago now, we uh, had it about 80 degrees and sunny, so it's very strange and uh, very unusual weather. But as usual, things change and um, abnormal is the new normal. All right, so let's get into the news today. Thanks, everybody, again for being here. Well, actually, real quick, thank you to those that um, commented down below my last video. We talked about the egg shortage and how we told you exactly uh, what was going to happen last summer when we saw the mysterious fire. Remember, all the chickens got burned up. And uh, all the just the weird things going on, all the diseases throughout the chicken population and millions of chickens had to be culled. Uh, we knew that it was a matter of time and it took a while. But here we are with many Costco's running out of eggs. And uh, if you read the comments in the last video, I read at least four or five different Costco's out of eggs. So pretty crazy times. Now we've got some more news on more layoffs that have just been announced. So the economy is continuing to slide downward very, very quickly. And uh, we're just going to see this escalate as we get into 2023 here. Uh, more layoffs. We'll talk about that in a minute. But first, to those that are panicking about the egg shortage, take a look. Everything's going to be just fine. Now, how is everything going to be just fine? Well, the Fed is here to help. The Fed has printed some eggs. So there you go. The Fed can fix the problem. All we have to do is print, print, print. And money printer go burr and the egg printer go burr. We're saved right folks i've said this a thousand times the fed they cannot print uh commodities they cannot print uh energy they cannot print uh food and this is going to be the problem that we're going to have going forward but it's going to be this times 100 because there's going to be other types of food that you're going to see shortages of all right let's talk about the latest one of the latest there's more than this but one of the biggest latest announcements for layoffs is coinbase and this is about a thousand people and folks, this represents about 20% of the workforce of Coinbase. Now, we all know what happened. Cryptos got smashed. And if you've been on this channel, you knew this was going to happen. Remember, was it again last year? We warned you how the rapid rise was likely due to big institutional investors. Do you really think that the average person investing on Robinhood or the average retail investor uh, went in there and ran the price up or pushed the price up? from what, 15,000 up to six, almost 70,000 uh, for Bitcoin, for example. No, it was big institutional investors. Also, several times last year, even at the beginning of the year, we warned you how people were spamming my comments and it looked like bots were leaving messages saying, get into crypto, uh, buy crypto now, or you're gonna be priced out forever. Um, you know, Don't miss the boat, all this stuff, right? All these like robotic looking messages down in comments. So it looks to me like a concerted effort uh, to get people into this uh, this asset. And uh, if it was just, you know, people leaving comments, but these look like repetitive messages, the same message would appear like four or five times. And to me, it looked robotic and it looked like an algorithmic attempt to get people into uh, the crypto market. And look what happened. People, uh, so many people got wiped out because they, they chased it, they, they bought it as it was going up. And it is very uh, tempting to buy something when it's going up so rapidly because you feel like you're missing out. And that's where FOMO comes in, fear of missing out. And uh, a lot of people got wiped out. And it looks like Coinbase doesn't expect things to come back anytime soon. Why would they be slashing 20% of their workforce if they thought that this was just going to be a dip and then that it was going to go back up? And it's not just about the price of these uh, these digital coins dropping it's about all the people that got wiped out and lost they're not going to be back because they don't have any money to invest right so if people lose big time and they don't have any money now to invest because they lost so much that's going to be less people needed at coinbase because a big portion of their customer base is wiped out so bad that they probably close their accounts because you have no money to invest what good's having the uh, the coinbase account so Pretty interesting, folks, that uh, you know this big of a number of people being let go at one of the biggest crypto uh, brokers. Now, when you look at crypto, um, people did have 
hopes that it was going to be something outside of the banking system, outside of the dollar. Uh, and it's true, it is not the dollar. But if your broker goes bust, just like FTX, um, it's actually more risky than having your money in a too big to fail financial institution. And also one more thing before we uh, move on to something else here. People think that uh, getting into these uh, these coins, these uh, cryptos, they think that it's private, that it's outside of the banking system, that they can't be uh, seen or they can't be tracked. Folks, it's still online. They're tracking everything that you do. Uh, you're going to pay capital gains taxes on these uh, assets if you do make money off of these. So it's not like it's uh, some uh, secret that can't be seen. You know, They can see everything that you do, everything that you transfer to your bank account. And, uh, you know, they've got all these new agents that are uh, going to be unleashed to try to uh, see what kind of money you're trying to make here on the side, investing and side hustles and all that. Now, there is some pushback on that. I read an article that there's some pushback in the house that they're going to try to um, not fund all the new agents that were going to be put out there. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I don't see uh, that really being stopped. Right. So when the. Uh, House passes something or tries to get something done. It can be shot down by the Senate and so forth and so on. So I don't really think that's going to have much traction. All right. Now onto this. It's not just me that thinks that the Fed is going to have to uh, pivot, so to speak, and start cutting rates. Uh, UBS today, the Fed will start cutting rates this summer as core PCE inflation will drop to 2.1%. So this uh, global chief economist out of UBS says that basically the Fed is going to succeed in bringing inflation down to the 2% range. And he says, therefore, they're going to pivot and start cutting rates. Um, I don't think the Fed's going to succeed. I think uh, inflation is going to stay elevated. And uh, even if they did succeed, it, it still wouldn't bring inflation down. It just means that fl inflation is going up slowly or more slowly instead of 7%, like they're telling us, closer to 2%. That is not going to bring prices back down to affordability. That's that's still worse because prices are still going higher. It's just slowing the rate of increase of inflation. So even if they do succeed, which I don't think they will, it's still going to be a big failure. But I don't think they're going to get it down to 2.1 um, because I think they're going to uh, lose the fight. But I still think they're going to pivot even after losing the fight. So inflation is going to stay elevated and because there's going to be so much so many uh, layoffs, just like the one we saw earlier here with Coinbase, there's going to be so many layoffs, so much pain in the economy, so many job losses, um, such an implosion uh, of the working class that they're going to be forced to pivot and cut rates. Uh, I don't think it's going to be as soon as this summer. I'm thinking closer to the fall here in 2023. Um, so far, we've been pretty accurate on these types of uh, predictions. Please let me know what you think down in the comments, though. And, you know, I'll just say this. I don't want to be known as the prediction man um, sitting here with the crystal ball saying, oh, this is going to happen by this time next month, next year, uh, this fall, this summer, etc." cetera. Uh, but some of these things are just so obvious. I mean, does anyone think that the Fed is really going to slow down inflation when we have shortages back to at the beginning of the video, the eggs? Uh, the Fed cannot print eggs. So uh, the Fed cutting rates, is that going to make more eggs appear? Of course not. Right. So we need to look at the production of goods uh, and items that we need uh, here in this country. We need to look at the, the farms. Why um, is it such a problem to have eggs? Anyone that has a few acres should have chickens and hens and be able to get some eggs. But people don't do that. People have been uh, roped into office jobs and non-production jobs, service jobs. And that's what we have here in the U.S. is uh, United States is mostly a service sector economy. And we have a lot of consumers, people consuming, uh, people eating, but not enough people growing uh, food, for example. And I think once the hard times really hit, we're going to see a reemergence of the farming economy, where back like in the early 1900s, most people farmed and most people had some source of uh, food on their own land that they could rely on. Now, we also have the World Bank out here recently warning of an oncoming recession. The problem is the recession's already here for most people and people that disagree with that, they're uh, probably doing pretty well themselves and they're only looking at themselves in their own personal financial situation. But most people are not doing better. Otherwise, total household debt wouldn't be continuing to climb. Now, who disagrees with me 
And who thinks that the Fed uh, will not cut rates this year? Well, BlackRock. A uh, quote here out of Business Insider, it's foolhardy to think the Fed will cut interest rates at all in 2023. That's the bond chief from BlackRock. Uh, well, we'll see who's right. Um, I hope I'm wrong. I hope uh, the Fed doesn't cut rates, right? So I think they're going to cut probably closer to the fall this year because there's going to be so much, so much carnage uh, in the economy, so many job losses, so much damage, so many foreclosures, car repos. Uh, job losses, uh, late rents, evictions, homelessness. It's going to be, uh, uh, things are just going to continue to get worse. What can I say? I don't want to sound like a broken record, but when things are continuing in the same direction and continuing to get worse, <laughs> you have to keep on reporting the same type of news. And sure, we try to branch out a little bit. And in our last report, we talked about a lot of different things. And we tried to have a few laughs, like the eggs at the beginning of the show. It may not have been that funny, but Hey, let me have a little bit of fun, all right? So <laughs> uh, I'm going to go down with the ship, just like the band playing on the Titanic, folks. Uh, hopefully, though, we'll be saved because we're going to be aware of what's happening. We're going to have broad vision and not tunnel vision. And we're going to know where the life rafts are. And we're going to get through this um, financial crisis, um, economic Armageddon, whatever you want to call it. Could be a Great Depression coming, folks. So I don't know how bad it's going to be with the food. The egg shortage could be just the beginning. Uh, for example, what other mysterious fires are going to pop up and uh, take out a whole bunch of uh, additional food processing plants? Uh, your guess is as good as mine, folks. Please let me know what's going on down below. Hope everybody's good. Thanks for being here. Big love. Bye for now. Keep stacking. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.